copywriting brings memories of old Wall Street advertising agencies. For others, it might instead look like some dark magic cited in passages of books from the arcane arts. <laughs> but it mostly has to do with understanding the reader, putting yourself in his shoes and understand what it wants and how to communicate it well through words. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write attention grabbing headlines that will make you a true word wizard you're a wizard harry and help you turn words into cash prospects or just capture some leads and some of those tips will also apply to copywriting overall here's what you will get on this video first thing will be five tips to write attention grabbing headlines then successful headlines examples and also how to test your headlines and if you stay until the end you'll also get some extra tips and more info about how to learn more about copywriting and becoming great at it so stay tuned if you would like to check that out. Hi, I'm Hugo from oiktech.com and in this video I'm going to show you some tips to write attention grabbing headlines as well as how to test them. You can use them to write copy, improve it or just learn a bit more about copywriting. So stay tuned if you would like to check that out. First I'm going to kick off with some headline categories. And you will see later on that this just means that headlines can follow into one of these or more depending on the elements included in it. Most of the times you will see headlines that follow in one or more of these categories which are self-interest, curiosity and news. Self-interest is where you state what's the benefit to the user usually in form of a promise of a benefit essentially what they want and how to get it. This is the most straightforward and also the most effective type of headline when combined with nothing else so by itself then there's also curiosity where you appeal to the curiosity of the reader through questions such as do you know this or do you make this type of questions there's also news and this is where you tell the news by announcing a new groundbreaking product or a new use case for an old product news headlines often start with introducing announcing finally presenting new new now and there's other words that are often used with it as well usually self-interest is better than just curiosity only headlines but you can combine self-interest with curiosity to make even more effective headlines for that reason avoid using headlines that only provoke curiosity alone let's say that we have the following headlines are you afraid of making mistakes in english and then the second one do you make these mistakes in english now which one of those do you think would be the better one? That would be the second one because it appeals to curiosity and also contains a promise of the benefit in the form of free information. So you have do you make this which makes people also think what are these mistakes that the writer is talking about and it also indicates that you are presenting information which will tell what those mistakes are and also how to fix them. And sometimes that's what you have to do when you are reading or writing headlines. You have to write the headline, but then you also have to go further and think how would a person reading it feel or what would they think about just by reading the headline and sometimes that might be a little bit subtle but you can't just ignore it and just evaluate the headline through technicalities you have to also think about it as if you were the person purchasing the product now another thing that you can implement which is often seen on the mmo or internet marketing niche is a quick and easy fix people will see a ton of headlines every Every single day you will want to try and suggest a quick and easy fix or a quick and easy way to get what they want your goal is to hook them with the headline so that they read the rest of the copy or they go to the rest of the landing page there's also some powerful appeals you can use in advertising to improve the power of your headline try to use at least one of the following in your copy the strongest are sex, sex appeal which can be the 
physical act, the love affection and the friendship. There's also grief and this one is also a powerful one. You will see that a lot on make money ads and business opportunity ads. And this includes physical and emotional things that the money can buy. Then there's also fear, which can be fear of losing such as FOMO or fear of not gaining what you hope to achieve. There's also duty, honor and professionalism. And you would be think about what is best for those I serve. The previous appeals are fairly strong, but there's also a few more primary appeals that you can use on your headlines. And some of those are the actual words that you might want to use combined with others to form a full phrase or sentence. So here are some of them. The first one being make more money, then save money, retirement security, better health now, healthcare security, security in old age, advance in trade or in your job, so career, then prestige, enjoyment, easier chores, gain more leisure, comfort, reduce fat, very popular on the neutral vertical or niche, freedom from worry, desire to be in a group. And you will know that some of those appeals will be on the Maslow pyramid with matching some of the needs that you'll find there. Now, if you are wondering, now that you know some of the appeals that you can use, how you should pick them and use them for a particular situation. Well, first you need to have a reason for choosing the appeal to use. Usually it has to do with the offer that you are promoting. And then you will need to test a number of different appeals. So you would do a split test or an AB test, which is where you keep all of the variables similar or 100% the same. And then you only change the appeal, which of course would be on an headline or somewhere else if you are using it on other parts of your copy. Then you would see which one is the winning appeal after the test and then you grab that, you jot it down or you put it somewhere else in your notes and you create variations of that appeal which may work in a lot of different ad campaigns. Now there's also other powerful headlines that may work with your offer and here are a few of them. Free, new, your, now, quick and how to. Now here are some ways that you can do headline analysis or copy analysis and this may work even for your landing page. You can start by dividing ads in groups based on conversions, sales or clicks, which are usually the most important KPIs. And then you can start by taking a look at the headlines and sub headlines. And on that headline, you look at the appeal, wording, size and placement. Then for the illustrations or the illustration subject, you want to take a look at size, style and placement. Then for layout or colors, you want to see if there's any overall difference between winners and losers. For copy, you may also want to consider the amount, the size and the style. And for the offer, you may want to take a look at some aspects such as how the customer makes an order or purchase. As for the size, you want to take a look at the size in relation to the page in which the ad appears. Bear in mind that a lot of these elements will be almost set when you are thinking of a specific funnel because you know that those elements work in a certain way together to increase conversion version rates. Now there are a few more tips such as using short sentences, short paragraphs and short words and this is specifically to be used on headlines. Then you may also want to avoid apostrophes, long sentences and your copy should be simple and swift not trying to be smart because people might get confused with it or just bounce off your page. Then you might want to use a logical sentence flow so if a then b if b then c to make arguments or to present a point and then if you are advertising something you should keep it relevant and use an image that represents it well instead of using a different related image for example if you are advertising a motorboat then you want to show a picture of a motorboat not a sailboat then you want to be specific and provide clarity in your headlines and this might be similar to the previous tip you then also might want to mention numbers or results in money figures, especially if that's related to business or wealth. You want to choose the right audience and make it clear on the headline and you want to talk in terms of the reader by using you or your and usually you should prefer using headlines with a positive meaning instead of negative ones because negative ones have more stuff that can go wrong. That means that it can go wrong because it doesn't work for your audience or maybe because the 
ad network will simply ban your ad so you gotta be careful about that and see how that applies to the policies of a specific platform or ad network now here i have some examples of headlines they are just three simple examples so we have headline number one with two options and you should pause the video and then try to pick which one would be the best based on the information that i've just told you about so here is headline number one option a is to a twenty thousand dollars man or woman who would like to be making fifty thousand and then b is here's proof that this training pays financially which one would you think would be the winner if you said option a then you are right it is the winner because it specifically mentions money twice and contains a strong indication of increased earnings aka the strong promise of benefit and then instead of dollar amounts b just uses financially which is not as effective when compared with the option a and again if you did notice a also is more specific and clear then we have the second headline and this might look a little bit old so here's one question you shouldn't ask your wife and then b get rid of money worries for good which one would you think would be the most effective well in this case it would be b because it has a promise of benefit while a is purely a curiosity headline and just like we said if we are solely using one of these types of headlines usually a self-interest headline will be stronger than a pure curiosity headline then we have headline number three which is the last one and again we have two options so a is a vacation that lasts the rest of your life and then we have b which is how you can retire on a guaranteed income for life now in this case b wins it because it selects the right audience and a promise of a benefit while a lacks clarity and might be a bit misleading so it says a vacation that lasts a rest of your life it could be retirement or it could be something else it could be promoting for example a trip to another country so it is a bit vague so that concludes the video about five tips to write attention grabbing headlines and also the testing and everything like that if you tried your luck with those three headlines let me know how many you got right ask away in the comments or share your reasons as to why you thought the other option was the right one leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more marketing content check out the marketing playlists on the description or cards above the source material for this video was mainly a book which is called tested advertising methods which i highly recommend you check out it is also linked on the description as well but you will also find there a link to jasper 10,000 words free trial which is a great copywriting ai software that will help you increase ad conversion rates or even create unique content for social media or websites which is seo optimized thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye bye